Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again to play the eight worst cards in Clash Royale all in one deck. We're gonna head on over to Royal API, look at the top thousand players in the world, so you know the best players in the game, and we're gonna sort their cards based off of win rate and usage rate. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to find the eight worst cards in the game that are never played and never win games. So at the very bottom, we see the Elixir Golem with a 44% win rate. That's with 1% of players in the top thousand playing it. The very best players of Elixir Golem that know how to play the deck still can't even win with it. Of course, we're gonna have Bard Putt with a 0% usage rate, so people don't even play that. And we've got the Battle Healer chilling with the Elixir Golem little bit better at a 45% win rate. Looking at the deck, it is hilariously horrible. First thing, you have no answer to log bait, right? So if they go in for a goblin barrel, because I don't have a spell, I'm just gonna take a ton of damage every single time. And that's not even talking about bridge spam, right? If I don't have a good card cycle, my cheapest card to cycle is a three elixir firecracker. I'm sorry, Clash Rout, that's not a fire spirit. I'm gonna have bar butts, goblin huts, and all these heavy cards in my deck weigh me down so I can never get out of bad card hands. If they bridge spam me and I only have elixir golem plus clone, like what am I gonna do? Elixir golem, clone it up and give my opponent free elixir i don't think that's gonna work every single time i look at this deck i just see a new way to lose so let's jump into some games hopefully find that one way to win and assert dominance and before we jump into the action i gotta say the next deck that we're gonna play is even worse so if you guys think this is some clown shenanigans you're gonna have to wait till you see the entire circus don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos and a huge thanks to everyone that's using credit code sir tag making high effort videos like this one possible so let's see how terrible this deck actually is there's literally no way that i'm gonna win a ladder game with this but i just wanted to do it for the memes and just a little bit of torture you know see what this guy's gonna be thinking also maybe i'm being a good person maybe i'm just giving people free wins this is like the best player that he would ever want to be playing against someone just playing a lisher golem worst cards in the world all in one deck <laughs> So this guy's going to have a fireball and he's going to have goblin cage from the looks of things. I think it's probably going to be a royal giant deck. I just don't see any other possibilities, right? So I'm going to go for a battle healer in the back and make sure that I cycle stuff from the same side that he's going to be vibing for. I'm going to likely just continue to go in the right-hand lane. Ooh, wait. Hunter and goblin cage. If I go for a firecracker off to the side, I can get damage on your tower. I'm currently winning the game, by the way. I just want to make that abundantly clear that I'm super proud of myself winning the game. I might not win this game, but I am winning as of right now. And what I was saying about this deck in particular, even though it's got some of the worst cards in the game, you can make it work because you've got so many spawners. So there's a chance if I just don't drop my Elixir Golem and clone together, maybe we can find a way to salvage the situation. So I'm going to go in for an Electro Dragon here, and he's going to log. That's not going to kill. Oh, this is, this is kind of shaping up to be okay. Maybe we can find our way. I think he overcommitted, and I can go for an Elixir Golem and then go for a Battle Healer. Wait! Are you kidding me? Am I going to win the first ladder game of the day? No way. This should never happen. This should never happen. I believe in miracles. I believe that we can win. I believe that we can win. <laughs> I swear. I think I got the luckiest matchup in the entire world. The fact that the guy didn't have anything besides Royal Giant and Fireball. How the heck is he supposed to break through three different buildings? Impossible. Wow. Even the eight worst cards in the world sometimes can work together in perfect synergy. That's ridiculous. I, he's he's going to get three crowned by the eight worst cards in the world. Okay. feel a little bit bad for you, dude. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little bit bad for you. <laughs> There's no way that should happen. <laughs> There's no way that should happen. I do not know if I can keep up that strand of luck. But we're going to vibe through and see what happens. And I'm going to be trying this out in Grand Challenge 2 after this game just because... You know, you gotta test it out where there's a lot of champions. Oh no, this is this is horrible. We're playing against log bait. And did I not tell you guys in the intro? It's like, no, I just didn't want to play against that. I didn't really want to play against someone that ends up having a goblin barrel when I have no spells in my entire deck. I might have to go for like a furnace behind my tower to finish off the goblins. I don't know. That's what I'm vibing with right now. Wait. Oh my gosh. There's a chance we win this one too. Are you kidding me? This guy's gonna have Sparky. There's no way that I'm getting this lucky. Okay, never mind. I don't get that lucky. Or or do I? Or do I? Because the Firecracker's staying alive. This Electro Dragon is extremely ambitious, by the way. But I want to keep the Firecracker alive at all costs. No, don't die. Don't die on me right now. All right, I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to do anything else. Oh, my gosh. I think the Electro Dragon's going to stay alive so that I can go for a Goblin Hut to protect my tower. Oh, big brain. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy. He dropped Goblins, and then Goblins came out on our side to fight him. You know, like, you called the Goblins, man. You summoned them. 
They came in with their summoning circle and they're ready to spear your heart and your soul just like Cupid, man. I'm loving this though. I think the fire and ice is not going to work out in our favor, even though Pokemon told me for my entire childhood that fire countered ice. Just look at it and it just did not happen the way it was supposed to be going. All right, I can go for a firecracker here again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If he goes in for a minions into this, no way. This is ridiculous. There's no reason for this to work out so well. I think maybe at like lower mid ladder where I am, people just don't have good decks to counter it. But like maybe in grand challenges where they have more champions, I'll get screwed. I'm not sure. Like this is two games in a row where I've just felt very comfortable with my situation. Did this guy rage quit again? No, no, no. He didn't rage quit. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage if I don't go for a furnace like yesterday. Come on, furnace. Come on, fire spirit. Just jump on the... Uh, nope, nope. Didn't jump on it. I'm a little bit scared because I think he's going to protect the minion horde. And then I need to go in for a firecracker on top of the goblin barrel too. Or can I go in for a firecracker here? I need a firecracker on the minion horde. I need a firecracker on the minion horde. Okay, we're vibing. We're here for it. We're here for it. 51 seconds remaining. All I have to do is hold the door right now. That is one beefy battle healer. This game is really spicy, but I feel like I got like the luckiest matchups ever. <laughs> Especially when I thought I lost at the very start. Like I saw a goblin barrel coming at me. I'm like, hello darkness, my old friend. I've played against log bait so many times and I just get hard countered every single time whenever I don't want to be playing against log bait. Like they go in for mirror goblin barrels on me. I'm like, oh, I don't have a big spell. But I guess the situation is you build a deck so bad that Clash Royale doesn't formulate a counter to it. This deck is so tragically terrible that I'm playing right now that Clash Royale hasn't identified what counters it. They're just like, no one would ever play these type of cards unless they were forced to by someone else. I feel really bad for that person. Let's give them some free wins to compensate. That has to be what Clash Royale is doing to me right now. So let's jump into a grand challenge and see if we can win there too. And I know a lot of you guys are not going to believe me because I don't think I would believe me either. I did not cut out a single game. The games before this were me running different decks, winning a lot. Then I switched and I started playing the meme deck on ladder and I three crowned two people in a row. It's ridiculous, it's lucky, and I'll take it. Let's bounce onto the Grand Challenge and see if we can get lucky there too. So jumping into this one, let's see if we can make it happen for the memes. You guys already know if we got Furnace, we could get that cheeky chip damage lead. I feel like that's one of the best cards to start open the game with, especially because you don't want to go and sacrifice your Elixir Golem too early on. Okay, so we see Bats and we see Mortar. This is definitely a deck that I can vibe with. If we can stack up some battle healers and double elixir, we can thrive. And obviously this is one of those decks that I think it has some semblance of a synergy. What I was talking about before, when you've got multiple spawners on the field, your opponent can feel confused, kind of out of place. If the spear goblins can lock on the tower, we can force out elixir in this side and then make them defend in the other side. And then it feels fantastic. Please don't activate King Tower. Please just don't do that. If I had Tornado, I would have been able to pull that and make a prediction that he would activate King Tower. But because I don't have Tornado with this garbage deck, I can't make any of those plays. Kind of just limits my potential. It like makes my brain get squished down. down and a lot smaller. I'm going to go in for a Firecracker here. And I can't stop that, can I? Unless we can go like Elixir Golem and then the, the Miner targets the wrong thing. Okay, cool. That was good. We made a good play there, making sure that it did not target the Firecracker, but I wonder if the Mortar's going to finish it off anyway. Yeah, I said it was a good play. I, I kind of I kind of got to eat my own words right now. The Firecracker's just going to die. Please don't activate King Tower. Please don't activate King Tower. Oh, wait, it already activated King Tower. Wow. Yeah, I guess when you play the worst card in the world, you become one of the worst players in the world, too. That's kind of what happens. Your brain cells just deteriorate before your very eyes. Oh, my gosh. I forgot that he activated King Tower with the Electro Dragon. Um, I'm going to Electro Dragon again here. I think we can go and kill the Cannon Cart. And wow, those are really bad bats. Let's go. I'm here for it, dude. If you want to make those mess ups, that's what we need to see. If the Electro Dragon can chain onto the Spear Goblins, I'm still in the game, right? But that that is terrible for me. That is so bad. The fact that he was able to go for a log and keep the Spear Goblins alive. The only way I can salvage this situation is getting to double Elixir. Going in for a Battle Healer in the back is the first play. Cycling Elixir Golem in front and then cycling another Battle Healer. And I don't have a fast card cycle, so I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, I'm going to go in for a really high Elixir Golem, which you never really want to do. But I just want to separate our stuff out here if possible. And go for the Goblin Hood again. I, maybe I go in for a clone. Honestly, do I just risk it for the Biscuit and clone up the stuff? I think if we can clone up some Electro Dragons here, maybe we can vibe on and chain onto the tower. Yo, that's working! No way, no way. This is actually popping off. The cloned up Electro Dragon gave us way more damage than I thought would happen. This might be a salvageable situation. If I go in for a battle healer in the back, I can catch the miner. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness, but he logged on top of the firecracker, I think. Or maybe he didn't. 
Oh, he didn't. Let's go. And the firecracker is going to take the shot so the elixir golem doesn't. Oh, never mind. Firecracker, you're, you're just selfish. You don't care about me. You don't care about me any bit. All right. We're going to go in for a clone here because I need to, not because I want to. And then I'm going to go in for battle healers and go for firecrackers and just all in and pray that this works. Come on. Come on, elixir golem. Do something for me for once in your life. <laughs> all right. I need the electric dragon to chain on and it barely worked. In the last remaining seconds, this guy is laughing. Dude, you should be laughing at yourself. You just lost to the eight worst cards in the game. My life is nothing but a comedy. The cloned up Elixir Golem gave me barely enough tank for the Electro Dragon to pop off and win me the game. I feel like I got so lucky there. And now it is finally time to figure out the very worst deck in all of Ladder. So we're gonna head on over to Ray API, scroll all the way down to the bottom for 14 days. These are the worst cards in the world. And this time, I don't even have three buildings. So I'm not gonna have that Furnace plus Spear Goblin Hut pressure. And I'm not gonna have that direct source of damage of the Firecracker splashing onto my opponent's units and hitting their tower. So I'm looking at this deck and I'm like, okay, somehow Mirror got in there. Don't know how people just lose all the time with it, but it has an 8% usage rate. So I feel like because everyone's playing it, there's a lot of people that have no clue what they're doing. And that's why the win rate went down a lot. So despite this deck being way worse overall without any way of getting real damage and no triple spawner threat, maybe we can find some cheesy play with our mirror. So let's go jump straight to the action. Hopefully not clone up any elixir golems and assert dominance. All right, let's go guys. Jump it into ladder with the second worst deck of the day. And I see this thing is just way worse than the other one so i refuse to level up my goblins because they're such a trash card that i would always want to use guards or skeletons and you never really want to have the middle child that no one loves the goblins like you rather have the sturdiness of the guards and the higher damage or you rather have the skeletons for a faster cycle those goblins are just left alone sitting there in a corner and just being like where did we go wrong why does no one love me only deck that you'll ever see it in is a hog rider rocket deck and those things they're played by like one person at top ladder and that's it. So jumping into this game, I think what we're playing against is a Lava Hound player. You know what? I could actually win this game. There's a chance that we can do the dance. I'm going to go in for the Electric Giant on the left hand side and then just basically all in and pray. That is literally the only way that I can win this. Please, flash her out. I am begging you right now. Let this second Electric Giant three crown my dude. If this works... I can maybe win the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Electric Giant that's level 16. Let the Mega Minion get targeted. And then I'm going to go for the Elixir Golem in front of this. This is what memes are made of, baby. Full send. <laughs> There's no way, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, if I take a tower, I consider this an absolute win. I'm going to go for a battle here as well. The Elixir Golem blobs are tanking. Okay, okay. The Electric Giant's just going to die, though. After it got nerfed, it's so bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's just why you don't play Electro Giant anymore. Unfortunately, after they nerfed it just to the ground, there is so many better versions of beatdown decks. If you guys want to run a Golem deck, that's what Muhammad Light and all the top ladder players are playing with Golden Knight and even Golem plus like clone because Giant Skeleton got buffed. There's some funky decks with Elixir Collector as well. But Electro Giant, that is simply not it, Chief. DG and well played to our opponent. We lost that ladder game. There's no surprise there. We got to test this out in a grand challenge. Oh, wow. My trophy is 6666. That is not a good omen, my dudes. So after winning three games in a row with the other deck, we've evolved but backwards with an even worse deck. If you look at my deck, there's literally nothing that shoots up besides Spear Goblins from my hut and then maybe the Electro Giant reflecting back damage. So if I play against someone with bats, minion hordes, something along those lines, I'm likely just going to be screwed. I don't have firecracker for splash damage. I don't have the electro dragon to chain onto my opponent's towers and their units. I also have no source of, you know, locking onto towers for direct damage. Because I was at least able to use the Electric Dragon behind the Elixir Golem and give value. Even though I didn't have Tornado, it still worked out pretty well. And then also the Firecracker gave me so much value in unorthodox situations, splashing onto my opponent's tower. That was just such a vibe. <laughs> right now, I'm looking at this, I'm like, yeah, I'm playing against a real log bait deck without Minion Horde. Which I guess is better for me that he doesn't have Minion Horde now. But how am I supposed to make this happen? Maybe I can mirror up Electric Giant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to mirror up the Electric Giant. I have to. It's gonna have champions though. This is the issue. This is the thing that I didn't want to see. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So if you're playing against someone that has champions and they're able to just melt your stuff really fast with the proper defense of an Inferno Tower, Tesla, whatever it be, they're just gonna laugh at you like this guy. He just is one sadistic sir. He knows that I'm screwed, right? 
So he's going to go in for probably like a log or something on top of the goblins when he identifies that that's my only answer since I don't have a spell. We're going to go for the elixir going first, and then I can go in for a battle healer after. We got to just full send everything that we have here. Yeah, you're going to have a rail delivery, but I'm here to deliver the dominance, bro. That dark goblin's going to fall flat on its face, and I might clone this up. To be honest with y'all, if I clone up the battle healers, I can keep my electric giant alive a little bit longer. Wait, is that big brain? No way. Are you kidding me right now? This is one sick joke. This is absolutely just a complete meme. I don't understand why this is working. We're playing against a log bait deck. We have no spell, and this guy's got a champion as well, and we took his tower, and we're defending. I'm just lucky that the dude didn't have bats, because if you think about it, you drop bats on me, I'm screwed. I have nothing for him. Also, I thought the Dark Goblin was going to walk up a little bit, so I dropped my Goblins a little bit further back, but I guess it worked out in the end. I'm going to go and predict his Goblin Barrel and drop my Goblins really far back, so when the Goblins come down, we should have ours in sight. And, you know, with 40 seconds remaining, there's no way for this guy to win. I can just body block every single time with the Bar Butt, going for Goblins on defense against the Goblin Barrel, and I'm actually going to win this. That's so stupid and hilarious. I'm here for it, though. A few errors in the Matrix later. I gotta say, playing trash decks like this is just so much more fun because your opponents probably are just like, what the heck is going on? What am I watching? And that's the reaction that I strive to see. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily videos, and have an awesome rest of your day. Oh,